Greetings everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I gonna show you how to boost the level of an audio signal in audio director and how to create fade in and fade out adjustment. My test audio file is already loaded in my editor. The audio signal level can be increased using the boost adjustment. So open the adjust audio module and expand the boost section. This automatically select the entire clip so unselect it and find the zone part what you consider to adjust and select it. If it's too short, I select longest section. Now, as you can see, the boost tool can able to increase the signal level because the minimum value is zero decibel. So change the volume intensity and start to play. You can see that the level is changed in signal viewer window after applying the adjustment. Now the amplified signal level has zero decibel in boost tool. If you want to decrease the value now, even though we set a negative value, this will lead to an error message that the boost value should be between zero and 12. That's mean that we can increase the signal level with the boost tool, but cannot be reduced. The amplification adjustment can be changed with the exact amount. Other option to change the amplification is this yellow line down here. I can increase the level with dragging up this line. Or reduce the audio level by dragging down the line. Reset the changes using this back arrow on the right here. Now we are gonna change the level on the selected part of the clip. Press and hold down the control key and move the mouse over the yellow line. When the cursor changes to red dot, I can create a keyframe on the line by clicking with the left mouse button. Let's create keyframes at the beginning and at the end of the selections. And gonna add another keyframes which will hold the actual audio level. Now we can adjust the selected part levels separately. So move the dots downward and set the start position before the selection. Now I think I muted the selected part. I cannot change the selected part level by moving the yellow line because it makes changes on entire clip. So move the top border of the adjust volume bar up to make more room and change the volume with these dots now more easier. Let's play it again. In this way, we can create linear fade in and out and any part of the clip. Now reset the changes using this arrow. The audio director offers another way to set fade in and out. We are gonna add fade in and out to audio clip now. Open the adjust audio module and expand the fades tool. The linear fade in is selected by default. You can change the duration of the fade in by moving this rectangle forward or backward. And change the function of the fade effect to logarithmic or exponential if you wish. Let's listen to it. There was very little difference between the initial and the maximum volume. So set the initial value to zero to make more gradient in the fade. Play it again. Great. Now enable the fade out, change the duration and change the fade out function. If you wish, you can leave the end volume at the defined value. I set it to zero now. At the end, hit apply. You can see that the signal level was recalculated immediately and the signal looks exactly like the selected fade function. Let's play it again. Yeah, yeah. Why check 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. There is a complete set of tutorials on my channel so you can learn more. And thanks for watching. Bye.